In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at the in index by function provided by the underscore JS code library. Now to make use of underscore, we first have to reference it in our web page. As I've done here, I've referenced it, referenced it from a popular CDN, but you can also download it to your local development environment and reference it from your local server as well. So basically what index by allows us to do is to take a collection of data and extract from it an index value and then basically produce a new collection of data where we have that index value as a key and then we have the rest of the data as the object associated with that particular key. Now what we've done here is we have a web page that has some tabular data in it. And what we want to do is we want to extract this tabular data and then we're going to use it to produce a collection of JavaScript objects and then we're going to use the ID that we have listed here to actually be the key or the index of the data that we that we extract from this table. So if we take a look at this we have uh, an ID here of C Peters and then we have a person named Cynthia Peters who's 24 and she's from San Diego and she's female. And so we're going to basically build a collection of data that looks like that. So the first thing we want to do is actually get all of our rows. So we have a helper function down here that's actually going to interact with the DOM and get back all of our table row nodes. Now once we get all of those table row nodes, we're going to use the underscore map function to actually iterate over those rows. And then we're going to basically use this function here where we're going to pass in each row and we're going to basically extract out the information from the DOM structure to create our object. So we're going to take the rows ID, which we've specified like this, and we're going to set an ID property. And then we're going to reference the individual child nodes within that row and grab their text content properties so that we can actually extract out the name, the age, the city, and the gender. The result of this is going to be an object. Now the map function is basically going to iterate over all the rows, creating an object for each row, the final result being a collection of people objects, which, that will, which will be stored inside of the people variable. So if we come in here and say console.log people, and we go to our web browser and run this, we're going to see that we basically end up with an array of six objects, one for each person. And so if we expand this out, we'll see we have age 42, city Atlanta, gender male, ID B. Smith, and name is Bob Smith. Now what we want to do is convert this from being an array and actually set it up to where we actually have each of these objects indexed by their ID value. To do this, we're going to need to use underscores index by function. So we're going to have our indexed people we can say underscore dot index by and then we're going to pass in our people array and then we're going to have an iterative function that we're going to use to when we iterate over the list now this function accepts several parameters it will accept our row parameter like this or actually we'll call it person our person parameter which represents the actual person um, that we're iterating over at the moment. We have an index parameter, which will actually be the index of that per person in the overall collection. And then finally, we have the original uh, people collection, which we can reference like this. Now to space this out a little better, I'm going to move this down to a new line. And inside of here, what I want to do is I actually want to return out the value for my index. So I'm going to say return person dot ID. So now index people is going to basically use this person dot ID as the index and then I'm going to have my actual person object. So I'm going to copy this here, paste this down here. Now let's take a look at the result of calling index by. I'm going to reload this, take a look. So now I have this object and this object has properties on it. B. Smith, C. Peters, M. Taylor, P. Lee, S. James, T. Jones. And if we expand this out, we're going to see our actual person object here. So now instead of just having an array of people, we actually have 
uh, an object map with properties on that on that object corresponding to the ID for each person. And so we were able to create basically an indexed list of people um, by using the index by function.